MMA fighters have a short shelf life, with careers ending almost as soon as they begin. There are some rare occasions when a fighter lasts the test of time, but most just end up fading into obscurity. This is a list of fighters that have faded from the spotlight, which leaves fans asking, where are they now? Vyacheslav Datsik Mostly known among hardcore fans, Datsik made his MMA debut in 1999 against former heavyweight champion Andrei Arlovsky. Six minutes into the fight, Datsik landed a big right hand to the chin of Arlovsky, knocking him out cold. Whoa! Arlovsky is out! The fight is over! Datsik went 5-7 and seven in MMA, but is mostly known for his life outside of mixed martial arts. After his last fight in 2006, Datsik was incarcerated in a Russian prison for his part in multiple armed robberies in St. Petersburg. He was later transferred to a low-security mental facility after claiming to be the son of the Slavic god Peron. Datsik escaped the facility after tearing open the wire fence with his bare hands and made his way to Norway to seek asylum. Datsik was later extradited back to his home country of Russia, where he has been locked away in a high-security prison for the last six years. Even convicted rapist Alexander Emelianenko has stated, the man isn't a normal person. He should be kept separate from society. Hermes Franca. Hermes Franca fought for the UFC lightweight title at UFC 73, losing a unanimous decision to defending champion Sean Shirk. After the fight, he tested positive for drostanolone, an anabolic steroid. He was suspended for one year and fined $2,500 for the failed test. After which, Franco went on to lose five of his next six fights and was released from the UFC. He wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Wisely with a 30 Oh, he just delivered it, and Wisely knocks out Hermes Franco. Then in 2012, Franco was convicted on two counts of sexually abusing a minor. The girl, who was under the age of 14, was a student at a jiu-jitsu academy Franco worked at. After serving over three years in prison, he was deported back to Brazil, where he returned to MMA in 2014. Franca has won one of his last four fights, losing three of them by knockout. Roger Huerta Roger Huerta burst onto the MMA scene winning six straight fights in the UFC. And in 2007, he became the first mixed martial artist to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Huerta was climbing the UFC ranks at a rapid pace until he lost to Kenny Florian and Gray Maynard in 2009. After the losses, Huerta passed on renewing his UFC contract to pursue opportunities in modeling and acting. Flew me all the way out here for this bullshit. Can't deal with this fucking guy. Look, he fucking headbutted me. TMC published a video of the former UFC fighter allegedly in a street fight with University of Texas football player Rashad Bobino. According to reports, Bobino was hitting a woman when Huerta intervened. No charges were filed against Huerta for the attack. You know where you are? This is Iron Fist! Roger Huerta has lost seven of his last nine MMA fights. He was TKO'd by War Machine in 2011 and was on the receiving end of one of the most brutal soccer kicks in recent memory. Brian Bowles. In 2009, WEC champion Miguel Torres was considered the best pound for pound fighter in the world and was on a 17 fight win streak when he faced up and comer Brian Bowles at WEC 42. Bowles shocked the world by knocking out the seemingly unbeatable Torres to become the new bantamweight champion. Soon after, the WEC merged with the UFC. The Ultimate Fighting Championship and World Extreme Cage Fighting have merged and plan to form a new sport called murder. Bowles went 2-2 two two in the UFC and lost his last fight via TKO at UFC 160. After the fight, Bowles failed his post-fight drug test due to elevated testosterone levels. To make matters worse, earlier this year he was arrested on multiple felony charges, including possession of methamphetamine, possession with intent to distribute, and other charges. Bowles was arrested for the drug charges on Stoner Road in Arcade, Georgia. <laughs> Honorable Mentions John Alessio has over 50 MMA fights and once fought for the UFC Championship against Hall of Famer Pat Militich at UFC 26. Alessio now owns multiple clothing boutiques with his wife. He married in 2010 and is also a part-time Uber driver. 
Sean Salmon was made famous by Rashad Evans after being on the receiving end of a brutal head kick. After leaving the UFC, Salmon lost his last 12 fights in a row. He was knocked out by Jorge Santiago in 2007 and suffered a seizure in the ring. He had to be carried out on a stretcher and taken to the hospital. Salmon is retired from MMA now and is working at a cable and wire manufacturer. George St. Pierre was abducted by aliens after his fight with Johnny Hendricks in 2013. He was last seen during this interview with a worried look on his face while constantly gazing into the sky. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.